how to create a Spring MVC login form. So on our website, we have the description of uh, this project. So for this, you need the Spring MVC. So for this project, you need Spring uh, Framework Library files that you can download it from the Spring website or we have included this in the source code of this project. So you can directly download the source code and run the example. So click here to download and uh, I already have this project. So I will copy the path of this project and, and then open the Eclipse then import the project select so click on file then import and then select existing project into workspace click next and specify the enter the root directory and you can see it displayed the project name now click finish and this project is imported here so the project is this user login and uh, this project is here project right click this project run as run on server then select the tomcat 6 click next and then finish click on its user login here then enter something so it's displaying the error and uh, if we enter admin admin so it will display the welcome message so this project is working like this and uh, it's not validating the user against database it's just validating dating uh, with the hard coded username admin and password admin so this is going to be a beginning application for you and then later on you can add the hibernate for backend validation that i will show you in uh, uh, next video tutorial so let me explain you the project so first step is to create the index.jsp file and this is the index.jsp file it simply displays the login user link then next is the web.xml file and in web.xml file we are configuring the dispatcher servlet which is of spring dispatcher servlet so here is web.xml file and it is configured here so it handles all the star.html requests then next is to develop the dispatcher servlet.xml and here we are defining the uh, login validator then login controller so this is dispatcher servlet and uh, view resolver is internal resource views is resolver and the uh, view we are picking up is from web inf slash gsp so all the gsp files will be in this web inf slash gsp folder then we have url mapping interceptors and so on and the first is login.html which is mapped to the login controller and these are the different entries in the login controller then next is to develop the login.jsp file it displays username and password so this is login.jsp file first form method is uh, post and uh, command is login 
and the username and then the password so it displays two fields username and password and a button this is a submit button next is to uh, develop the success.jsp file so once the login is successful this success.jsp file is displayed with the welcome and then the username next is login.java so it so login.java is uh, here it holds all the values like username and password and these are the mapping in the dispatcher servlet login controller and the controller class is login form controller the command name is login then command class is uh, web.login and uh, these are the URL mapping login goes to the login controller and we have this uh, login phone controller so this is actually uh, validates the user so it is validating the object validate and if username and password is not admin admin it will reject the valid values and display the message on the screen and this is the validator class and uh, here we have provided the source code of the project so it is developed in uh, spring 2.5 in next tutorials i will tell you how to develop in spring 3 and 4 also so to and uh, we need the jar files uh, uh, these are all in the lib folder so these are the jar files of the spring project to run it right click and then run as run on server next oh sorry run as run on server then select the tomcat 6 next and finish We have thousands of tutorials on Spring Framework and Hibernate Programming on our website. You can visit our website and learn uh, from these tutorials. We have tutorials on Hibernate Struts, XML, Spring, Testing Frameworks, Ajax, JavaScript and many other technologies. You can also uh, browse from here. So thanks for watching the tutorial. and visit our website to learn these programming concepts also subscribe our youtube channel